Lots to talk tonight about the pumps. What yes. is what is on, what is not, what is working, what is not? Yeah, what's happening in New Orleans. Lots yeah. of street flooding um, that is just standing there. Canals being extremely full. Uh, issues with some power. And we want to check in with David Hammer, who has been working the phones to get some information about the latest there. So, David, are you on the phone? Yes, I am, Katie. Uh, yeah, I've just been in Lakeview. Uh, Canal Boulevard is impassable around Polk Street, which I have not seen before. Uh, and I actually spoke to a gentleman who lives just about a block away from there that is, who said his house is flooded. Mm -hmm. And, oh, wow. um, yeah, and uh, they have had issues with pumps failing before back in 2017, but they uh, had not had this issue uh, in Ida or in the other uh, big storm. So um, we're seeing more uh, problems in Lakeview than we've seen in quite some time since the August 2017 floods. And I'm told by Councilman Joe Geruso that we did have problems with the electromotive diesel generators that back up the power generation for the older pumps that serve Lakeview. Don't know if that is the reason, but we're definitely seeing some of the smaller streets and even a major portion of Canal Boulevard that are not draining. Uh, they are draining slowly or appear to not be draining at all. Yeah, that's difficult and that's an indicator that there's something wrong. Um, you know, it does take a while for them to catch up, but if things aren't moving and it's been over an hour, typically that means there there's something wrong with the system. Yeah, something's stalled. It's a, it's a red flag, right, David? Yeah, absolutely. I, in some places, you see the water moving toward the catch basins and very slowly. In other places, you don't seem to see any movement at all. And uh, I spoke to Eli Durham, whose parents' house just flooded, and they do have a uh, basement that's on uh, on on slab on grade, uh, but they have been having problems with flooding in the. But they were told that the new drainage in the streets there. Uh, from new paving work that was done was going to help with that. And here was the first test and it apparently failed. Ah, oh, that's not good. No, uh, David, the Surgeon Water Board seemed so confident going into this storm that it had, it was going to be able to manage this and that things would be under control. Um, can, can you speak to that at all? Was that, was that a false confidence there or did something happen here that was truly unexpected, out of control? Well, I, I don't think it was a false confidence because they did have more power going into this than they've had in a long, long time. And they had all of those electromotive diesel backup generators functioning going into the storm. But according to Joe Geruso, the council member, the uh, some of those or maybe even all five of them went down. That's 12 and a half megawatts of power right there. If that's knocked out, that has a significant impact. And the last two inches of rain that fell just over the last 30 to 45 minutes of the rainfall right before 10 o'clock really overwhelmed the system. So you see slow drainage after that, but if there are problems with some of the pumps or some of the uh, drainage lines, as we see in Lakeview, then that's a problem. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that, that is great information tonight, David. We appreciate that report.